Hey everybody, this is Fezador. I am concluding my episode 3 run on the Ultraviolence difficulty for the PC using the GZ Doom Engine. So we are on episode 3, mission 8, Sparrow's Keep. So what boss awaits us? Alright, so we start in a room filled with ominous music and waterfalls and multiple go uh, gargoyles. So I'm going to go ahead and whip out my crossbow and just start firing away. I'm going to drop down, let them all come to me, take them out one by one. There we go. Grab the wings so we can climb out, grab the shadow sphere, and any ammunition you might need. I'm going to use my wings by activating them and get back on here. Alright, so don't take that teleporter yet. There is one secret here we need to grab before we uh, initiate our quest to find a sparrow. Um, so you see right there with the grate on the bottom and it's not moving. That is your first secret. Go ahead and open it up for a backpack, a tome of power, a chaos device, and a flask. Now we'll go ahead and take that uh, first teleporter. So I, before we do that, let's go ahead and use our hell staff and take out this, uh, this, uh, sorry, take out the disciples, yeah, I lost some train of thought, grab their goodies, and our next teleporter, and we're going to go the one straight across, and you notice that the, everything's up on one level now, now we get a bunch of gar gargoyles, golems, messing up everything today, come on, not with it. I know it's Friday. We can move. Alright, once they're dead, grab their goodies, take the next teleporter. Then go straight ahead, rinse and repeat. Take out Jake the Snake, there's three of them. But it's tough because it's a cramped spot. Okay, I'm kind of hurt, so let me heal up a bit. Flip both switches and take out that iron lich, however you see fit. I think uh, Phoenix would be appropriate. Grab his goodies. All right. Okay. So I am back at full health. All right. I want to say. All right. You know, just, if you don't know, just take any teleporter. You'll just follow them in a row. You get pointed in the right direction. So if you get lost, you can always retrace your steps by picking any teleporter and just going straight ahead. Now you're in an outdoor courtyard greeted by... Yep. That's Despero on his uh, dragon steed. Grab the goodies of the trident. Ooh. Now the dragon steed doesn't do that much damage, but he's very fast. So just kind of an FYI. Um, is... Fast, but not difficult to dodge. You'll see what I'm talking about. But he closed the gap very quickly. Now, he can absorb a lot of damage, so it may take a lot of hits to puncture this guy. See how fast his flame attacks are? Oof. He doesn't do, don't, don't, uh, he doesn't do a ton of damage, thankfully. But he's still dangerous. Be on your guard. Okay, now it's Despero, and he's much tougher. I'm just gonna hell staff it. Now you see those purple dots coming? That's disciples he's just summoning. He can now don't worry about the disciples, just concentrate on Despero. And when he starts taking enough damage, he'll start teleporting. There we go. Ignore the disciples. Grabbing the goodies is not hard in this one because they're pretty easy to get. Alright. There he is. I'm not going to aim for any of the disciples. 
I have a ring too, which I think I may keep at the ready. There we go. There we go. Now he's dying. Now he's got six spawn points, these pedestals are some uh, spawn points. There we are. I think it spawns a couple places um, around the trident too. Alright. Alright. Ooh, dangerous. I gotta heal up badly. I think I got lots of, uh, well, I got three tones. Yeah. There we go. And then once he killed the Sparrow, all his disciples die with him, so that's the nice thing. So I'm going to go back, just make sure I got all the items in the courtyard. By flipping the switch, it reveals the exit chamber. And two last secrets here. Get the urn, and on the other side, I believe, is a tome. Oh, ring, rather. I'm sorry, I lied. Get the wings. We have everything. We're going home. We are going to watch the conclusion of this episode. Sit back and enjoy the show. And the story. The death of the sparrow has loosed the magical bonds holding his creatures on this plane. Their dying screams overwhelming his own cries of agony. Your oath of vengeance fulfilled. You enter the portal to your own world. Your moments before the dome shatters into a million pieces. But if the sparrow's power is broken forever, why don't you feel safe? Was it that last shout just before his death? The one that sounded like a curse or a summoning? You can't really be sure, but it might just have been a scream. Then again, what about the other Serpent Riders? The Sparrow is just one of several Serpent Riders. He's got two older brothers, which you will not fight in this game. They are in Hexen, I believe. Uh, I don't know if I'll be in a Hexen walkthrough anytime soon, but it's a possibility. And that is the end of Heretic, Episode 3. That is the end of the original trilogy. Next stop, Episode 4, The Ossuary. But that's for another time. And until then, this is Fezador signing off, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody.